Artyom, are you awake? It's okay. The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hell of Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6, but you leave. People need you, and you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop. There's only Metro, nothing else. And the order is here to defend it. Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to police. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but... People are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Sadly, it's their job. <laughs> job or no job, if they keep doing that. Well, not everyone can stand being cooped up down here. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive until now. Artyom. Just try to take better care of yourself, huh? <laughs> Even if you find someone else out there, they probably have their own troubles. So what would contacting them even accomplish? Besides, I remember we used to receive signals from the outside pretty frequently soon after the bombs fell. But not for a long time now. Doesn't that tell you anything? Ah well, it's your life. Artyom, I understand how you feel, but you're not always going to save the Metro single-handedly. Why keep looking for a solution alone? Your friends from the Order came to your help again. The Colonel seems to want you back in the unit. Why waste your time in our farming station or out there looking for ghosts? If Sparta wanted me, I'd join in a heartbeat. Eh, in any case, good luck, Artyom. Huh? And why not? It's what's kept us alive up to now. Huh. And how long do you think that's going to last? How many kids are there in the station? In the whole metro? Who will be left here in ten years? Ten years. <coughs> Uncle Artyom, don't here. worry. No I believe you. <coughs> will you take me with you when you find the clean place outside? <coughs> what will we do if all the Spartans come down with radiation poisoning like Artyom and the Nazis try something? Artyom! Stop That's exactly putting why they go up there. They know we can't solve anything I don't want him going crazy like you. 
There's fewer of us. I can't even sleep since you told him all those no silly stories. Stronger and smarter Is that supposed to make him better? Later, Please, leave my son alone. To go, but maybe something up there could help us. Uh, I'm not sure what could possibly be worth endangering themselves for like this. But, who knows? Maybe they found some secret maps in D6 that point to a storage unit of some kind. Something that will save us. I don't know. I doubt there is any magical salvation out there. What could possibly have survived on the surface after all these years? The only real solution to the total evacuation. Like a broken record. Had the guys not made it so, you would be able to do that. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, brother. Artyom! How are you, friend? I see you're all right. Gentlemen, give this way. calls for a celebration. Artyom, a few more scars and you will be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which... Alyosha, how are you're you the nurse is on the Could you just stop crowding him? Brother. Welcome back, Artyom. Privyat, Artyom. All right, you're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official. Yeah. I knew it. You guys are like so I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom. love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest, but what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it! We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, father will kill me if he finds out I went out with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa <laughs> off-limit zone. <laughs> Have you been to all of these ruins? <sighs> See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here. <laughs> Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Oh, let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa, hear that? Are getting smarter. Let's pick up the 
Hear that? It's a pack. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that. Well, we take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. Damn, too high. Hey, Hatyam, help me get out there. Come on, get in! 